Paris uh, Saint-Germain kicked off the defence of their Liga and Conferama title with an unfamiliar lineup against visitors to Le Parc Caen. New coach Thomas Tuchel was without a host of stars, not least Kylian Mbappe, Edison Cavani, Marco Verratti. So handed three teenagers their first starts. But the return of Neymar and the debut of Gigi Buffon, the oldest player to appear for the club in Ligue 1 history, meant there was still more than enough stardust to worry Caen, who felt like the sideshow to planet PSG. The trophy to champion success against Monaco meant the champions have won 19 of 21 domestic trophies since the start of the 2013-14 season and now start their quest for a sixth title in seven years. Tuchel was happy as he serenaded his squad with the Pharrell track after being soaked in champagne by his squad in China, but he'd have been delighted how easy it was to get his league reign up and running just 10 minutes in. Neymar onside to slot coolly past the isolated Brees Samba. Although it was the goalkeeper who started all Kong's problems. Christopher Nkunku pouncing on his error. And then slipping through Neymar, Adrian Rabio stayed out of the way. As the Brazilian made it 13 goals in just 12 appearances at Le Parc. Can have lost Ivan Santini, the crowd with 26 goals in two seasons to Anderlecht. But Malik Cho Kunte almost made the Normans forget. Instead, the former Paris FC striker showing Buffon is still up to the task. Patrice Garong left after six years, with Fabian Mercadel now taking the reins of Caen. Well, Adrian Rabo won the ball in midfield. Angel Di Maria with the skill. And he found the French midfielder who continued his run from deep, ghosting in to look to all but end the match after just 35 minutes. Well, Di Maria reborn after his double in the Trophy de Champions, leaving the defender for dead. Rabio already equaling his total for last season, 13th for PSG in the league overall for the 23-year-old. Well, having followed his Paris FC coach to Con, Conte looked to be a full handful Although Thiago Silva turned his cross into a concern for Buffon, but thankfully more than enough time for the 2006 World Cup winner to readjust to save his captain's blushes. Neymar goal, Buffon clean sheet. After 45 minutes, it was going exactly to script. Mbappe, Kimbembe and Areola have showed off the World Cup trophy before kickoff and Javier Pastore's emotional farewell as he leaves for Roma, but the players remaining professional and focused on the pitch. Good news for PSG owner Tamin bin Ahmed Al Tani in attendance to see the reign of Tuchel begin. Looking pretty relaxed. Khan have managed two draws in the last four visits to the capital. It appeared unlikely to extend that though when Steph Peters' free kick hit the post rather than nestle in Buffon's net. The Italian left stranded. Tuchel prepared to make changes, speaking at length to countryman Julian Draxler. Neymar sensing his night may be cut short. The number 10 feeding Nkunko, who showed great strength and persistence. He played debutant 19-year-old Colin Dagba. And the right back found Di Maria. With his instinctive header, well stopped by Samba. Neymar and Di Maria departed with Draxler and Timothy Weah entering the fray, but it was the latter who made an impact. The US international frustrated, failing to add to his first PSG goal in China against Monaco. Samba getting a lucky break, but it wouldn't last for the goalkeeper. Great snapshot effort, but the post coming to Samba and Kohn's rescue. But the Normans looked to have lost all focus as a casual air seeped into their play. And Weya was the man to take full advantage. No idea what Samba was trying to do here under pressure. But Weya on hand to score 24 years after his dad's last goal at Le Parc. Timothy and George Weya are the second father-son duo to score for PSG. Since Jean and Jury Jokaev. Well, certainly he won't score much easier. 
Well, with the big stars still to return, a perfect evening for Tuchel and his Liga and Conferama champions. Colm will lick their wounds while Paris look onwards and upwards to bigger challenges.